Hello, everybody, and welcome to our uh, muted, slightly technically disadvantaged stream <laughs> this evening. Uh, we're working on getting ready to play the Stifling Dark with a sophisticated Cerberus team. I think I, I don't know all of your last names. We've got, got Matt, Jeremy, and Ian with us, a three designer crew, right? Yep, that's right, yep. You can hear me, that is. <laughs> yeah, we've got a little yeah. bit of a delay, I think, going on um, between ourselves and probably into Twitch as well. So we'll keep that in mind with um, any activity that happened in chat too. But we've loaded up this Stifling Dark on Tabletop Playground and it, it's got a lot of pieces and, and stuff. And I think it's asking a lot of genes. So uh, we'll do our best to still show it off. All right. Um, as long as we can hear each other, maybe I'll kind of, one thing too, is that there's three of you and I think you might not know which of you should talk first. So to reduce delay, I might call on you to, um, have you get started telling us your stories about, um, how this game came into being before we start the rules. All right. So, um, why don't we start with Ethan, um, and then I'll let you kind of do popcorn and pass it to your co-designers to tell part of the story. All right. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, I can tell a little bit. Um, so we formed uh, this company back in uh, 2020, and that was kind of um, kind of happened the same time as the inception of this game. Um, so it's been um, almost three years now, actually, that we've um, at least been thinking about this game. We actually were working on a different game previously um, for a couple months there, but then we switched over to this one. Um, and uh, yeah, basically it started, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I had an idea for a game that I was kind of um, uh, looking to play with my friends. Um, I had no intentions of um, putting on a Kickstarter or anything. And I was kind of talking with Matt with, about it. And Matt told me that uh, him and Jeremy were thinking about making a game. Um, and so that's kind of how we, uh, we teamed up and, um, and started working together. Um, so I guess, uh, uh, Matt, if you want to maybe just tell a little bit about um, the game itself. Yeah. Um, yeah, like you said, you kind of had an idea for a horror game. So Jeremy and I were working on some kind of space game. Um, and then we kind of hit a wall and also saw like 100 space games come out in 2020. <laughs> and so um, <laughs> Ethan had this horror game and uh, as we decided to make it like an actual game for, for more than just like a local friend group was kind of choppy rules, you know, just kind of ad hoc. And so we put the Stifling Dark together and it looked very different from what it does today. Um, and in its original inception, we had like a square grid and some square flashlights and stuff that were like pixelated looking. It was a pretty entertaining time. Um, I think we have like remnants of those somewhere. But yeah, so today it's a, it's a one versus many hidden movement game. So we've got cool flashlight mechanic for line of sight and everything. Uh, pretty happy with how that turned out because it's really easy to like just look at the table and you know like what somebody can see um which is great and so yeah now we we've got our kickstarter and it's going really well and you know i'll let jeremy talk about that side of things because he's uh he's the pro of all the business stuff <laughs> i don't know if i go that far but all right yeah, so we uh, we launched our Kickstarter uh, about three weeks ago. We've got a week left. Um, so we hit our funding goal in about four hours, which is awesome to see. We, we've been done, doing lots of marketing. We've been to mm -hmm. Origins. We've been to uh, Gen Con. We've done a Pro Spiel Online, of course, as well as Pro Spiel Minnesota. Um, so we've done lots of conventions over the past about two years to kind of get get the name out there, but also to play test and kind of improve the game. So we're very thankful to our play testers because um, I forget which convention it was, but we we've had one that like the flashlight charges you'll see that was somebody's idea from a play test that we implemented. So we've definitely taken the play tester feedback seriously, and it's been a great time to see kind of how the game has grown through all those play tests we've done. Which. Which Protospiel Online did you come to? Because I found out about you because of my friend, Nicole, who is one of the co-organizers of Minnesota. So I didn't even know you had brought it to Protospiel Online. Is that, which which time did you come? I think it was like two years ago. And how did I miss ago. you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll take a look. I'm pretty sure it was like the two two years ago is the one we went to, but it might've been, it wasn't it wasn't this past year, I know that. Um, I, okay. I'll have to look and see Sometime what it was. Sometime in 2021. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, 
Well, maybe it was before we had built the um, built into our website prototype listing because it just feels like if I had seen this on the prototype listing, I would. I always look at all of them, and I feel like I'd remember it. But maybe maybe you didn't choose to list it on the website, even though you were play testing because you don't. It's not required to do that. Um, I recommend it, but it's not required. Uh, and we had we had this on. Ta uh, we used to run the prototype listing on tabletop events, which is like less um, less bespoke. It's just sort of like a, a website off of our website that you can kind of look through, right? That we don't do anymore. So maybe that's why <laughs> I missed you. But anyway, um, yeah, very excited to have you with us now. And um, I can, hopefully I can turn on the game and we're not going to lose each other. But, but if we experience technical difficulties, we, we hack up plan that we might have Tanner um, stream it instead of me. But we'll see how it goes. Looks good. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sweet. So normally, um, I teach the games on Perdishville Tested, but because, like, no shade to the designers or anything, but because of all of the technical difficulty getting started, we're trying to keep keep this shorter. So since they have their teach and their pitch down much better than I will. Um, they've been taking it to conventions and everything lately. So I'll hand it over to them and let them teach instead of me this time. And we'll follow along from there. All right. Um, yeah, so this is the Stifling Dark. Um, one versus many. Um, up to four people can play as the investigators. Um, and uh, it is obviously hidden movement. So that's what this uh, screen back here is doing. Um, so our adversary player will be um, hidden back there. They have a little mini map that you uh, probably can't see, um, but uh, they can track their movements on there. And they also have their uh, board. Ah, yeah, there it is. Um, oh, I have, have their board. I have a weird camera set. Does anybody off the top of their head know what I need to do to make it normal to move around? I think it's um, it's a camera view that I. I have like a weird one, I think, right now. Hmm. Oh, I, I know which, which function you know. you're talking about, but I there need to remember. There it is, there it is, there it is. I go. found it. Ah, found nice. my hotkey. OK. <laughs> yeah, this is what they're talking about. There you go, everybody. Yep, so you can move around on the mini Mac back, back here, and you can track um, everything for the adversary um, over there. And I actually can't see that on my screen. Um, none of the uh, investigator players can. Um, OK. So I have it in the live stream. I have the just who the adversary is, um, if you can see it in the restream. Yes, yes. So that is that is the butcher. Um, he is kind of a uh, he is he's basically got to stalk his victims before he can uh, go in for the kill. So there's a little bit of a build up with that um, and tension between the investigators and the adversary uh, with the investigators trying to um, avoid getting stalked and uh, the adversary uh, trying to get in position and avoid the flashlights. Um, but I'll probably explain the butcher um, after I explain some of the more basic rules with the investigators. Um, okay. So uh, basically, the backstory is um, the investigators are trapped inside of this old abandoned sawmill. Um, and uh, they came here on uh, local legends and rumors about paranormal things going on. And uh, they, as soon as they got there, um, they quickly realized that they couldn't get back out and that they weren't alone. Um, so now their goal is to collect uh, all the evidence of the paranormal so they can prove what's going on here and um, get out alive um, because the they'll also be that evidence will also uh, give them the ability to um, access an escape route so basically each building here uh, there are five on this map each one of these buildings has a piece of evidence um, hidden in it um, behind the player screen on the adversary's board so that are those are those um, there are little teal tokens um, with uh, basically a um, magnifying glass on the back of them and the adversary will be placing those um, anywhere in those five buildings um, one in each building and then the investigators have to use their flashlights and the lights in the buildings to reveal them and then pick them up 
Um, and once they've got all five pieces of evidence, they can try to escape, um, basically by trying to either fix one of these trucks, um, open up one of the gates, uh, or actually take the fight to the adversary and um, collect some of uh, some of their basically their personal items that kind of tore, tie back into their lore um, and uh, and kill the adversary. Um, so to start, um, the investigators will be starting down here on these green spaces, and they can move four spaces on their own. And then they also can try to move a little bit faster by using the sprint die here. And the amount of feet are the uh, number of extra spaces they can move. However, you can see um, over on the side of the board here, we've got all of our investigators lined up. And there is a there are two, two tracks on the bottom and one on the side. Um, so the tracks on the bottom are the uh, stamina track and the charge track. So every time you sprint, um, you have to lower your stamina by one. And if you don't sprint on a turn, you can move back up one. Same with the charge. If you use your flashlight, this little guy here, you have to place your flashlight down or your flashlight charge down one. If you don't use it, you can recoup one. Uh, basically, it's one of those like hand crank flashlights. Um, and then the last track is the movement track. And that basically uh, just tells you how far you can move normally without sprinting. Uh, everyone starts at four. They also have minor and major abilities, so they all play a little bit differently. And then the major abilities, they basically can only use once. They have a little token here. Um, and when they use their major ability, they have to uh, discard that token. There are ways to possibly get them back, but it's limited, so they have to be careful about that. The minor abilities can be used basically at any point, um, whenever the conditions are met uh, to use it. Um, so let me just briefly talk about how line of sight works with the flashlights. So I'll probably bring this flashlight up over here. So basically, the investigators place down their flashlight um, on their board. At the end of their activation, they place their flashlight down, and they can see any space that's fully covered and has one of these lines uh, going to it without hitting an obstacle. So let me rotate that one more. OK, so basically, in this case, uh, Mitchell here can see pretty much these spaces, and I think it just gets that one as well, um, because they're fully covered. And these lines here um, hit the spaces without going through the truck. Now you can see, yeah, the truck on the other side is blocking these couple of lines over here. So these spaces can't be seen. Additionally, these this Sorry. one not to be seen too, right? Because the it, the line goes through the truck, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I'm looking from top down. Um, which might, okay. well, no, even that way, it doesn't quite hit. I guess I was, I was zoomed out a little bit, but yeah, it's, okay. uh, yeah, I would say that one you actually can't see either. Um, okay. normally, you know, in person you could rotate it slightly, but we're a little bit limited with, uh, how much you can rotate, um, in these games online. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but that's why we've, uh, we, that's why we've set to 15, 15 is the lowest you possibly can, but in yeah. real life you can put it, you, you can, can nudge it and mess around with it as much as you want to before you say that's where my flashlight goes, right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, you could probably yeah. scoot it slightly to the left and get that one too. But okay. um, yeah, uh, last thing is, so 272 and 282 or 286 here, um, those would not be, uh, those would not be seen because the flashlight is not fully covering them. Um, and one, one last important rule is that the investigator here uh, the space that you're on when you use a flashlight is also seen. So if the adversary or anything's on that space, it gets revealed. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty quick rundown of um, how the investigators work. Um, there's a couple other rules that we can probably get into as we go along. Um, okay. But there's also going to be a storm that's rolling in. So there's going to be an event. Um, every turn that's going to hinder the investigators and it's going to get worse and worse. Um, and there are also items hidden um, by all of these red spaces that the investigators will be able to look for. Um, and they can again use their flashlights to try and reveal that and then pick it up. Um, so to start, I would say, so I believe Tanner, you're playing the investigators, correct? 
um, as long as Heather's okay with that. Heather, do you want to be? Do you want to be the butcher? <laughs> um, I I don't have a preference on like which I enjoy playing, but I think I care more about what seems more interesting for whoever is sharing. Since I'm sharing my screen, do you all think it's probably more interesting to show off the game where people can see what the adversary is doing? Um, since my sense. screen is going to be the only one that's on. So it's just going to be more important probably than usual in these streams that you you go away from the tab where you can see into the studio and you can see my screen, Tanner, so yep, that you yep. won't have anything get given away. I'll make um, sure once the teach is done, I uh, avert my eyes entirely. Yep. Right, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's do it that way just so people can get a full feel of like how the adversary board sort of mimics the main board and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, yeah, so with two players, uh, one, the investigator player is going to grab two investigators to play. Um, and that's just kind of scaling with only one investigator, it gets, it's really not balanced if you only have one. Um, so that's why we haven't played two. Um, so you can go ahead and look through some of the investigator abilities and just choose whichever ones you want. Um, and then go ahead and place uh, your investigators on um, on two of these green spaces down there. All right. Um, while, while he's doing that, um, Heather, would you mind? Um, so we need to get the items ready. Um, so basically, um, let me actually, I can just pull them out here. Okay, so basically there are 10 items and that corresponds to each one of these uh, red adversary spaces. So there's actually nine regular items and then one um, cursed mm -hmm. item, um, which mm -hmm. is a little bit special. So you can actually place these tokens um, on your on your board within two spaces, of, one within two spaces of each of these red spaces back there. Okay, so they, oh gosh. Oh, friends, I'm not as good at these controls. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Got them. Um, no worries. And so how do I designate, is it is a card draw what's going to decide which one's the cursed item, or am I supposed to decide which one the cursed item is by a placement? So, yeah, so the way it currently works is the backside of those tokens um, actually have an icon on it. Um, so that designates what item it is. We're actually probably going to change that where they just have to draw. Um, so one of the uh, one of the item backs will be red, and that'll designate that it's the cursed item. So then they'll draw that one. Um, but as of right now, they are specific icons on the back. Um, you can actually keep them face down then, because um, you'll place them out face down on the board. Oh, so the investigators okay. won't know what they are yet um, until they pick it up. Oh, I'm not putting them on my board. I'm putting them on the big board. No, you are you are putting them on your board, but then okay. when they use their flashlight or um, the brights or they make a space bright with the um, lights on inside, uh, it'll reveal it. It'll you'll you'll move it but, out onto the main board though. So that's but I'll, they can see it. I'll reveal it face down. That's right. Okay, and am I supposed to be planning like where the cursed one is, like finding the cursed one myself, and or am I supposed to make that a random setup? No, it's all random. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you can just put, you can grab any token and just put it within two of uh, those red spaces. It doesn't oh. have to be, um, yeah. Like right on it, but mm -hmm. okay. Just, first of all, I'll get them close to all the right places and then I'll make a decision. Sure. Yep. And then you can also put those uh, teal evidence tokens, um, one inside of, uh, one inside of each building, anywhere in the building. And the buildings are designated by the, um, there's like a letter prefix. That's how you know it's a building or not. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So sometimes a circle is sort of in, in line with wall. And if mm. it's not, if it, if it has, if it starts with a letter, that means it is in the building. Yes. So, you, so there's no question of like, oh, if it's between a wall, which is, is it outside or inside? Okay, got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and this space that has like, uh, the item space that has like sparks around it, is that mm -hmm. 
meaningful or just cool looking? That's just artwork, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, before you set up the items, you can go ahead with the um, the evidence, but before you set up the items, um, since we're playing a two-player game, the investigators get a little bit of help um, to start. So they're actually going to, um, they're going to get three pieces of evidence right off the bat and three mm -hmm. items right off the bat. Um, so they'll only actually have to collect two pieces of evidence um, okay. just to keep things a little bit more balanced. Um, so uh, Tanner, you can go ahead and choose three of these red spaces to grab the item from and three buildings to choose the item there to, to grab the evidence okay. from um, to start off. Okay. You can kind so of plan also, like where yeah, you'll, you want to go. You'll know which ones it's not like they could be in any of the buildings you know which buildings are worth looking in and which that's item right. areas are worth looking okay sure. that's right. okay so i'm choosing which ones i already have or the ones that i don't have you can grab uh choose three that you want to grab the evidence from so you'll you'll get it right away gotcha um so i would say from red spaces these little ones here um yes three red spaces and three buildings Okay, um, so I would say, I would say maybe here, here, and here. Okay, so yeah, Heather, if you want to bring those item tokens out. Okay, gosh, I, this one. Mm -hmm. and I this can one. Those for you. And was it this one? Uh, these three right here. Uh, yeah, yes, this I one. believe okay. that's it. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, so just me... it doesn't really like Tanner doesn't need tokens. He gets the card. He will get the card. Yeah. Um, like I said. Oh, but I need to flip them over. Yep. Right. So currently. So, oh, so okay. You can see the red one here. That is actually the cursed item. So he kind of lucked out. Um, so the cursed okay. items, they're um, they're more powerful, but they come at a cost. Um, so I'll grab those items out if you want to um, select which uh, which buildings you want to grab the evidence from right off the bat. Sure. Um, so we'll do... So now I'm choosing the buildings, correct? That's right. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically the ones that you don't want to have to go explore. Gotcha. Um, so I would say, is this right here a building? This like tiny little L-shaped spot? No. So it's only the ones that have this like letter prefix. Um, before the numbers. Um, oh, I and see. Okay. they also have the dashed line, the dashed circles. That's another way to kind of discern. Right on. Um, I guess we'll go with this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking away. Do it one more time. Oh, yeah. Or I wasn't. Um, so we'll do the office. I guess they have names too. Okay. Uh, now that I'm looking closer, mm -hmm. um, the office, the kiln and the garage. OK, cool. Yes. OK. Um, so here are your um, two items and your uh, your cursed item that you collected. So you can you can distribute those uh, between your two investigators, however you see fit. Um, All right. Because it's just the start. Normally, when you pick up something, um, that investigator gets it. but. This is just kind of a um, help start the game with fewer players. Definitely. Um, uh, let's go with. You get the glow stick. OK. They'll have summoning stones as well, and you can have the journal. I'm going to just put this over here so you have the tokens, just in case you decide to drop them on the map. Um, gotcha. And then, uh, OK, so you've collected three pieces of evidence right off the bat. Um, so whenever you get a piece of evidence, you get to um, draw an evidence card. Um, so I've got three evidence cards over here for you. Um, and again, you can decide who gets what. Um, but for the most part, evidence cards are have kind of like global effects, so it doesn't matter too much um, who gets it. But. Gotcha. All right. Uh, 
so can I just kind of keep them off to the side then, or is it is it yes. important that one person has them? Okay. Um, no, it doesn't really matter. Um, gotcha. it, well, it will matter because <laughs> that person will have to take an action to to use them. Um, so I if see. you, okay. it will matter for like order of who goes first, basically. Gotcha. All right. Um, then let's do that. That and actually, that. yeah. So unfortunately, this offering one actually happens as immediately when you um, when you pull it, okay. um, and it's not going to help you to do it right now. So I would advise you just to discard it because otherwise you'll have to discard all of your major ability tokens. And normally you would decrease the round tracker by two, but it's at one already. So sure, that was kind of just bad luck. But um, no, that's yeah. fine. Yep, discard that. Um, Okay, is there a so, pile where I can set up discarded is, things or? Yeah, typically, I mean, we typically just put it by the side of the, um, yeah, the evidence deck there. Awesome. Um, so but one thing that I think you didn't say is what um, each of our goals are, because we have asymmetric goals, right? Like what, what, yes. what caused the adversary, this adversary, the butcher to win and what causes the investigators to win a scenario. Mm hmm. Yeah, so the, the investigators, um, they're trying to collect all the evidence, um, and then that will unlock. They'll let them select an escape route, which we've got three um, possible escape routes for them to choose from. Um, and that actually also changes, because there's, uh, there's a few different ones, mm. and we're going to select one of each. Um, so basically, their first, their first objective is just to collect the evidence. That's really all they need to focus on right now. Then they'll be able to select an escape route once they get all of it. Um, and they'll try to escape or kill the adversary. Uh, the mm -hmm. adversary, each adversary has a different goal. Um, in this case, the butcher just has to kill one investigator. Um, his backstory is kind of like he is a spirit who comes back uh, once every 10 years to claim another victim. Um, so once he gets his kill, he's out of there um, <laughs> and the curse continues. So yeah, the investigators are kind of trying to stop that curse from happening uh, by not letting anyone die um or possibly killing the adversary killing the butcher um um like what it means for them to die is to get four wounds right in both cases with both of these investigators right. right these spots here yep. okay yep that's right yeah so we've got wound cards here um and basically you place them down on the bottom of your board um, and sometimes they're face up, sometimes they're face down. Obviously, face up is worse because it has negative text uh, involved with it. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything we need to get started. Um, I can. There's uh, some other things that I can probably ex explain kind of as we go, um, if we if it comes up. But um, the the last thing would be the adversary. Um, so you'll need to select a starting place um, and your your immediate goal basically is to uh, get stocks on the investigators so you can power up um, and then start dealing damage um, and using your abilities um, so you'll want to select a um, starting space uh, within uh, four of any of those uh, red spaces the same ones that you were placing the um, item tokens near um, and then uh, you'll also select okay. one attack and one ability. Um, but yeah, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you. Set oh, up. and I don't think that you explained um, dim and pitch black spots, right? The difference between mm -hmm. if something has a dotted line around it and it takes more movement to move into it, if you have lit it up it yes. has a solid line around it it's just dim and you can move through it with one move mm -hmm. right yes that's correct so as the yep. adversary putting things in pitch black places, like in the center of pitch black places makes it harder for people to get them and also kind of right behind objects that it would be hard for explaining a, a line to be uninterrupted between the and the item mm -hmm. and i'm yep, going that's correct. 
I'm going within two. I have to be within two of the red anywhere inside the build for the items and anywhere inside the building for the epic. That's right. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so the investigators can kind of use their flashlights to help each other out um, when they're running through the buildings. Because, uh, again, the, yeah, running through the buildings through the investigators, all the buildings are pitch black, and that is much more difficult to, to, to traverse for them. Um, so they can use their flashlights if one places a flashlight down to make those pitch black spaces bright, uh, then the other investigator can run through without penalty. Um, the last thing with the buildings, uh, there are those yellow spaces with the little computer icons on them. Uh, Tanner, you can go to those building or those spaces and uh, take an action to turn the lights on in any building. Um, and that'll make the whole building bright for one round and then they'll burn out. Gotcha. Um, but uh, whenever you take an action on the computer spaces, it's it's an involved action. Um, so that's what that little red circle with the three white dots in it um, represent. So that basically means you end your activation, um, and you're not gonna you can't recover any stamina and you can't recover any charge. Gotcha. So basically, what you're saying then is, if since it's only one round, like I could not power this up, and then and then it like start moving around myself someone else would have to be in here moving around is that the idea because at the end of the round the yep. lights go back out that's right yeah yeah okay. so you'll want to have one person turn the lights on and hopefully have the other person run in and grab stuff um, but sometimes you just need to turn the lights on to keep the adversary away for a round gotcha Interesting. Okay. so from what it sounds like especially in the two-player mode it's it's good for us to stick together definitely yeah okay Yeah, um, um, and that I have a might be different. Question about a specific spot on the board. Sure. It's happening as far as line of sight and. Oh yes. They block flashlight, or are they like of you. Um, no. So there's no the there's flashlight. no real special okay. rules. Um, there's no. They, they don't block any line okay. of sight or anything. There's no special rules for those. Um, you can see it's just kind of like a catwalk. Um, so it's there's no lines connecting these two spaces okay. um, or these two spaces. Um, so basically, you can't move between those spaces. Um, you can still see them, though. Um, so the, the we're looking kind of lines, these. Yes. Some things. These are the lines and the wall. Those are the uh, obstacles, I think. Flashlight. That's right. Yep. When I'm picking, yeah. When I'm picking a place away from a red spot, that means like to move, gotta be connected by lines to move away, right? Right. Like, yep. That's pretty like much anytime this we would say. be allowed um, for this. That's right. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, we say that a lot, like um, no, two away it's... or um, three away. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's movement based. So if you can move there, you can place it there or use the ability there or whatever it is. Okay. I think I broke that rule at one point. So let me double check. <laughs> I'm close enough that All I right. can see. Been enough, enough that I can see that I'm doing it right. Mm -hmm. Funny thing about playing on them is that if you have friends on Steam, they get told on during streams what they're up to tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I can, <laughs> can see it. I think y'all can see it too. I don't know how to turn that. But anyways, okay. Okay, I think I've placed that up the board. Oh, except for my stuff to be four away. And what I, yes. I'm so, so this is something that I don't under from I've like read the butcher's card, read the entire section of the rule book about the butcher, so that might be part of the problem. But um, I'm starting at zero stock, 
and their stocks are not associated with a particular investigator. It's just I've accomplished some enough times, right? Is basically yes. is at the bottom. That's correct. Um, and is it like I have to get to eight before my attack is powered up, and then once it is, I can kill someone? Um, no, so if you grab one of the attack cards and flip it over, um, you can see uh, there are okay, there's yeah. there's always a cost in the in the top right corner, I believe it is um, associated with it. Um, typically, it's just one stock. Um, there are a couple abilities that don't cost any. So um, so yes, for rend um, in the top right, it's got a one. Um, so it costs one stock to use rend. Um, and uh, Basically, oh, you have to be adjacent to an investigator, currency. and then yes, yep. So yeah, first you have to build up your stock at least to one, um, and then so you can start okay. attacking. But it, it only deals one wound, so I would have if if uh, there might like as I look at them, there might be some that have deal more than one wound or a face up wound or like things like that, maybe. Yes. Yep. Um, Okay, dis and is is Tanner supposed to know? And it seems like if you've played the game before, you would remember what they're like, right? So it isn't really a secret yes. for the investigators, or is it meant to be? Um, so we typically, when we play with new players, we typically have everything out on the board, um, except for obviously the mini map. Um, so yeah, typically we just let them know what ability, um, what attack you're using and what ability as well. Um, just there's no um, surprises because if they don't know all the ability, all the possible attacks you could be taking, it's not really fair to them. Um, you could really, uh, you could really surprise them with something and uh, it could be a pretty nasty surprise. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess maybe we can talk about these things together then. So I've got sure. six of cards and three cards um yeah so you can choose your attack and then you'll get one ability um uh which scales up the more investigators you have playing um, but yeah basically eviscerate okay. is kind of like oh a damage and so over i time okay um mm. yeah so eviscerate is okay. like a damage over time so you don't They'll get inflict a wound the first wounds. time mm -hmm. yep um rend gives them a wound right away um but the mauled condition um that lets you um if an investigator has it the next time they take a wound they'll gain another wound so it's kind of like one and a half wounds um rend and uh onslaught um works the same way essentially um, they just do different things. So Rend lets you give the investigators a specific face-up wound that you choose. Um, Onslaught uh, is kind of more based on where the investigators are in relation to each other. Um, so if one's alone, you can do a lot of damage. If they're together, you can hit multiples. Okay. Um, and then, so you're saying that I like shuffle through this, or I, I look through this six cards and based on how many investigators there are, I, I take pick one or I draw it at random. Um, no. So you'll, you'll pick which one you want to use. Um, the, uh, though with okay. the, um, with only two investigators, we limit it to one um, zero cost ability. Um, so there are some that are one, um, okay. one cost abilities and some that are zero. Um, so there should be only a few that you'll need to look through for that. Okay, so not allowed to pick the one cost, only these zeros, right? That's right. So yep, there's that's like correct. four zeros. But um, if, if you want to just suggest the one that you think would be the most interesting, I'm cool with that if you know off the top of your head so I don't know them all. Sure. Yeah. Um, Think about it. Yeah. Vengeful Darkness is pretty good. Um, 
I would say probably, um, I guess I'll probably um, suggest maybe, yeah, Disturbing Presence or Evil Eye. Those are probably the two that I would suggest that are most like straightforward, I guess. Um, Evil Eye, you just okay. place two tokens out, and if the investigators go over it, you gain a stock. Um, the Disturbing and Presence And it's like in a secret you... space. No, they right? actually like see they it. So don't know it's going to trap okay um no they they will know it is on the main board um so you basically are giving them a choice of like do you really oh. want to go oh. that okay. way you know you can kind of use it to corral them a little mm -hmm. bit um but uh they, they basically mm -hmm. get a choice like do i want to give the inv the adversary a stock or do i want to continue in this direction that i'm trying to go um the okay. Disturbing Presence is the other one that I might suggest, um, which is basically if you end within four spaces of an investigator, um, you can drain their stamina and possibly get a stock. Um, so you give the investigators a little bit more, uh, a little bit more information about where you are, but you can possibly drain some resources. So my understanding is if I can get, if they are close together, both with this ability that that's when I'd be removing two or more stamina and I'd get that stock. Yes, that's correct. Right? Yep. Yep. That's right. Okay. That one feels just simpler. So I'll go with that one for okay. this first play. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So these are just n n not, Oh, <laughs> I bet Tanner couldn't see those because you've set them. No matter where they are, nobody can. Uh, uh, nobody other than the, the invest uh, the adversary at the. So even though I moved them in front of the green, I don't you think can, Tanner could see them. Sorry. Uh, no, we can see <laughs> everything. Okay. There's like a. No, no, no. You're you're good. There's like a screen basically like right, um, right back here. So yeah, if you move everything out, we can see it. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, the cards you placed there, here. There is ago, a zone, I can see, but, but I just yeah, can't see right the now, lines I can't of. See anything. His own. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Just need to kind of like hide these from myself or make it clear to myself. These are not part going on. I'm just carding all of these. Yeah. They don't matter. Yeah, that's fine. And then are these decks or should I keep them all face up and I'm going to choose them at will? Um. Yeah, you can keep them face up. So you'll want to, yeah, you want to keep your ability face up and then grab okay. one of those attacks to use um, for this game. Oh, okay. So, okay, I only get one. I'm going to attack in the right. same way every time. And Tanner is supposed to know yep. which one I've picked? Okay. Yes, I would let him know um, just because it's a uh, new player um, and... That's, okay. yeah, we try to be a little bit nicer with the new players. <laughs> cool, cool. I think Eviscerate feels simpler. Um, so I'm going to pick that one. It is the yep. one tanner where when I'm adjacent to an investigator, I can bleeding condition. And if they already have the bleeding condition, wound. Yep, and bleeding basically is so just I'm two wounds over time. By a thousand paper. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I can, um, yeah, if you've got your starting space selected, um, we can have the investigators go, um, and then I can kind of help oh, you through your first that. turn and how stalking works um, as we go, if that works for you. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, because I am still not sure that I really rocked that. Let me see if this is the picture. I'm looking close enough at the space. Ah, <laughs> um, it's really four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got myself situated and all of the items and evidence situated for you. Ready? Okay. All right. Sounds good. So I'm going to just real quick set up the storm deck for you guys. Um, uh, and then we can get going. But basically the storm deck, there's three different tiers and you just kind of pile them on top and so that it gets worse and worse over time. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right. So mm -hmm. uh, Tanner, I'm going to just grab your 
uh, first storm card here. All um, right. Okay, so this round, um, you gain a wound when your stamina reaches two um, instead of one during this activation. So um, you can see on your player board, normally there's a there's like a um, little uh, wound icon on mm -hmm. the one and two space. So if you hit, I'm sorry, the uh, one and zero space. Um, so if you hit two instead this round, you would gain a wound, um, a face down wound. Gotcha. But, one, one slot earlier. Yep. Yep. So it shouldn't be an issue for you since you're just starting off. You got full stamina, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go ahead, um, choose one investigator to start, and then um, you can go with either one. It doesn't matter. There's no round order. Um, mm -hmm. And they've got four movement. You can sprint if you want, and you can place out a flashlight. And there's not going to be a whole lot else you're going to be able to do unless you want to try to use an item. Makes sense. All right. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll start with Vincent. Um, so I'm assuming that if I'm choosing to sprint, I have to roll the dice first before I choose. Like, or would I would I like move my initial four spaces first, and then I could decide? Okay, yeah, let's let's sprint after that. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. Um, I would move then roll your sprint die if you want to. Okay. Um, so in that case. Uh, let's have Vincent move one, two, three, four against the edge of this truck here. All right, and then yeah, let's let's do a sprint. Why not? It's okay. nice and early. We got lots of air in our lungs. Let's let's go. <laughs> Ooh, okay, spicy. I got three. Nice. Yeah, so you move three extra spaces, <laughs> and then you'll lower your stamina by one. Two, three. Okay, so I ended up right here. Yes. And then stamina token down by one. Okay. okay, so actually there is one more thing you could do if you wanted. So you can see this little blue space here. Um, mm -hmm. That is a door. Yes. Um, so if you want, you can lock the door. Um, and that basically to do that, you just place one of these item or these door tokens out. Um, the adversary can take an action to flip it over to the damage side. Um, and then if it gets dam if it gets hit again, or you move through it, you try to open it, um, it'll be destroyed and it can never be locked again. Um, so basically, if you think you want to try to um, keep the adversary from running through this door, you can lock it at this point, if you want. Um, I think I'm good for but now. But then you, you can't um, get through it either, right? The so the investigators actually can open and close doors basically freely. It would be more like. Um, Oh, until they're damaged, they would be. Yes. Wait a minute. Yep. Okay. Yep. Once it's once it's if, damaged if and you. They're damaged and you move through them as an investor. Them. That's okay. right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, leaving it open is totally fine. Um, that way, the adversary can't attack the door right off the bat. Sure. Which is always good. Okay. Um, um, cool. It, it, so, yeah. To, my you'd use that. Mo mostly to lock the adversary in and protect yourself in that, that way? Possibly, is that yeah. in my bar? No, that's that's right. Um, yeah, pretty much okay. you're just locking the door to keep the adversary away from you. Gotcha, gotcha. And you said I could use okay. my flashlight this round as well? Yes. Yep. So at this point, um, now that you're all done moving, and I'm assuming you don't want to use any items or anything, the last thing you always do is use your flashlight, if you want to. Um, sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and just clear some early doubt. Um, so I would let's do something like that. And I okay. believe this would cover this, correct? Because uh, the yes. light's going through it and there's no obstacle. Okay. Yeah, that looks Close good to me. This. Actually, could yeah, I? So... Okay, it's not fully covering that though, so that might be. Mm -hmm. But they could. But Heather could be four spaces away from from the spot. That's right. Potentially. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. There's not also me, an item but, um, uh, Oh, let me. Re yeah, let me re say what the rules of the places that I placed my my. So my bo body has to be within four steps of one of you two at the beginning of the game. And all the items have to be within two steps of the red circles, except for the ones that, if you can remember the you told me you get already if you can remember which ones of those you want to ignore and mm -hmm. then the be somewhere within the walls of the things that you said have be the buildings you'd have to search mm -hmm. it's kind of, 
I can imagine it might be sort of nice to have a. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even, I guess, even if you automatically at the beginning to remember which parts of the that you searched before. Um, yeah. Just write it down on a piece of paper. I, if you're in your position, I'd want that. Okay. So um, I'm no. going to look here and make sure that the item isn't on any of these lit up spaces. And if it is, I'm going to put it on a board, right? Yes. Yep, that's right. Yep. Including the space that um, Tanner is on there. Uh, so it could be directly at my feet as well. Okay. It could be. Yep. <laughs> or and actually, Heather... that's oh. too far away. So no. But if it was there, it would be revealed. Gotcha. Um, and Heather, you said that your your the adversary okay. Sorry, themselves I'm, I'm is missing. starting near where I started. Did I miss that bit? Um, it's within four spaces yeah. of those. Yeah, I have to, I have to be well. within ah. four steps of you. Okay. Oh, oh! I thought I had to start close investigators. Well, I'm giving you a bigger hint by telling you that, but <laughs> so, so sorry. <laughs> but Funny enough, you were too, so. you were in a legal starting space, anyways. So I didn't catch that. Um, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> yeah, it's within four of the red spaces. Oh, it, it's not it up, not the not the investigator or the red spaces. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's, yep, okay. that's right. This one. Ooh. And I, do I flip it over to get it flipped over? Yeah, when he picks it up, um, then we'll take a look at what it is. All right, I found some goodies already. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so one of your investigators can run and grab it, and then you'll have <laughs> another item. All right. So, and I, I do both of my investigators before Heather gets to do adversary stuff. That's right. Yep. Okay. Um, so I guess, and we both move four. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. stick together here. Two, three, four. Let's do another sprint. Okay, three more spaces. One, two, three. Uh, let's reduce my stamina by one. And then, okay, and then what I could do is I could also use my flashlight here. Light needs to be yes. like this. Oh yeah, yep. I didn't catch that. Um, yeah, so Vincent would. This happened uh, to Tanner. Reduces stamina, and then yeah, she will also have to reduce her stamina. Oh, and my stamina. Or, gets... Sorry, um, charge. Oh, did I forget to reduce the charge? My bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I um, I did it then... for you on Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate yes. it. All right, and then that looks about right for flashlight for for key. Okay. All right. That's, so is that there... that's really cool. It really looks like overhead shot of two people in this place with their flashlights on. Oh yeah, no, the the visual is great. I really it's love cool. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, unless I'm there pretty... is anything there, uh, it moves over to Heather's turn. You're not even close. Okay. Make me pay for it, yeah. Heather. <laughs> yeah. So nothing to reveal there. Okay. Say that so, one yeah. more time, Basically, Tanner. Basically, Heather, you're... I just said, make me pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, and it's certainly like th this persists unless you and also at the end of your next turn your flashlight isn't on anymore right um That's right. you have like when at the beginning of your turn you have to pick up this overlay yes. um but as long as you're standing like this, i walk through the um spotlight you will see me immediately mm -hmm. yep that and sense. that is that's going to basically okay. ruin the rest of your turn Right. Okay. Okay. I'm really gonna have to get my head around how to take my now. You said you'd help me through my first turn, right? Yes. But that's yep, probably a little bit difficult to, without Tanner, without giving something away to Tanner. So, um, but it's a yeah, very general I can, statement. I can keep it vague. <laughs> my goal is to get stocks on them. Okay. 
because yep. stocks are my currency for attacks. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So um, basically, so here's, you here's an idea. Um, Heather, if you want, I can take my headphones out and then you just send me a message on Discord and then I won't hear anything that you're you're being told <laughs> if that would be better for, for teaching purposes. <laughs> Do you think that would be for you? I think that would probably be just more genuine to the experience if I'm not he get hearing the, the inside yeah. scoop, since I feel like I already right. got a bit of an advantage. Um, so yeah, go ahead and um, I'm going to take these off and then, yeah, you go ahead and get the, the insight and then just, just ping me on Discord when you're ready to go. Okay, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> So, Luckily, yeah, basically, Tanner is an eminently trustworthy sort of person. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll want to um, okay. try to get within eight spaces of the investigators um, and be able to draw a line from your space to their space um, without hitting an obstacle, um, and that will give you line of sight okay, to them. But... And that means you can take I don't, the stomach I... action. I don't have. Uh, I don't have a flashlight like they do that has the lines on. I just have to, it's an imaginary line that I'm going to draw, right? right? So that, yes. Um, Essentially, it's not yeah. Cross an object. Okay. We, so in the in the physical copy of the game, we do have a, um, um, a straight edge for players. Uh, so that they can use that. But most cases, mm -hmm. it's you really don't need it all that often. Um, most of the time, you can just look at it and be like, yes, I can see them. Here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. So yeah, when you, when you stalk them, I, you'll I have to place a I've token done. to say where you are. OK. Okay, so you you are not revealed in this in a you're a shadow to mm -hmm. them, right? Yep. Um, so as far as your status revealed, but they do kind of know about where you are. As you give them that chill. Yes, yeah, they basically just know where you were when you stalked them because you can keep moving after you stalk. Oh, okay, got it, and. Um, potentially in one turn, I could stock more than one person. I don't know if that's a thing that's going to, I kind of think it's not going to be past turn, but. Yeah, depending on where you go. Um, but yes, you can stock as many people as you can see, basically. Um, but it all has to be from the same spot. Yeah, I think there's a spot I could stand where I'm able to get them both, but it just doesn't matter matter of move right i'm gonna yep. have yep Cause, yeah because you cause don't want to leave too much movement or you don't want to have too little movement have... after you stock okay sprint die and i guess i have the same question tanner i i move the fight and i roll the sprint die or i just roll at the bow the total amount I'm going to be able to move. So as the adversary, you can just roll right off the bat um, because there's it isn't really two separate actions for you because um, okay. you just you can always sprint um, there. You don't have any stamina or anything. That's basically just your movement. So you can roll it right away. And is Tanner supposed to know got or is that a secret? No, we usually keep that secret. Um, yeah, all the all the rolling is behind the screen for the adversary. Okay. okay. Roll at the beginning. I know kind of what I'm working with, and mm -hmm. I can decide if I want to try to get them both, which would yes. be ideal, of course. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, I guess I'll do that. Um, it's interesting. I guess I'll I'll move it on my I'll make all these moves on my secret board instead of. Um, 
Yes. But then I put the show token on the big board. Okay. That's right. It, mm -hmm. It's kind of like I could, if I was playing this and I wasn't trying to demonstrate it to other people, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just put him where he's going to be at the end moves, but. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I do. Oh, and I. Something like, I think I can tell Tanner to come back. Something just like hey, hey where is the card that, that does this? uh sorry could you say that again okay we're having uh, a little bit of a okay. delay like I, I i see a little bit of a warning is running slow so hopefully you're still hearing me well enough gotcha yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay, cool. But yeah, yeah, I can just blow off doing attend abilities if I want to, right? Yeah, yeah. Since you don't have any stocks, um, you're not going to be able to attack right off the bat. Um, you could use disturbing presence though, because that one doesn't cost any stock. It is nice. I like that you have these numbers on. I mean, it it would be. Uh, um, it's hard to move around in a, you know what I mean. But, but mm -hmm. a good reference point to have the numbers to look at. So yeah, make sure yeah, I'm it really not, helps. Um, transposing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am. What is? <laughs> I'm creeping both of you out spot. What is <laughs> what, what is the word for this? Um, yes. I'm stalking so, you. Um, yes. Which you can give uh, with both that it means I'm kill. within eight spaces of you. Gotcha. And okay. where are those statuses? Spine chill. Uh, right statuses. in there. Right here. Okay, and each of my investigators oh, okay. gets one of oh, those. Oh, or okay. So we have to. Find something. It's yeah, we're, there uh, should be two... like we search this deck to find exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, we don't there. we oh. don't typically give out random. Are they both here? Um, okay. Yeah, they should be in. I think it's reverse alphabetical for some reason. Okay. Here, I think I found them both. Okay. So you each have this, and I'm actually curious. I don't know what even I did to you. <laughs> yeah, so as of right now, it doesn't do anything in particular. Um, it basically just is an indicator that you got stalked. Um, if the butcher can stalk you again next round, okay. you'll flip it down, um, and the butcher will gain stocks equal to the number that you, know, you were able to stalk again, basically. So the goal for the butcher is to stalk twice in a row. And the goal for the investigators to either run away and make sure that the butcher can't do that, or reveal the butcher um, so that again he can't do that. All right. Where this little shadow um, marker that I have to put out to show where I stalked you, where I had left sight on you from? Yeah, there should be. It should be I'm behind your player that. screen. There should be one um, with some of those red and black tokens. Okay. Um, okay. It looks like a. It looks like the butcher. Okay. It's a guy okay. Wearing a hat. okay. Noise tokens. Okay. Cool. 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 Let me go up here. Oh boy, this moves faster than I'm expecting. Okay. <laughs> right <laughs> here. Okay. So yeah, Tanner, uh, that is exactly where um, she was when she stalked. And you. then. And you don't, don't know, discuss where you, while you were off mining anymore, Tanner, is that, uh -huh. an, an unknown moves, I get at least five moves, but maybe my, does my sprint, is the, is my sprint die the same as Tanner's where it has one through four possible yes. on it? Yes. Uh, it's uh two through four. Okay. 
for for me. So I have so some tween seven and nine now. moves, but you don't know exactly how many. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I I have a sprint die, but I don't I don't lose when I use it. So I just always use it. Where to decide whether or not you want to use your sprint die. That makes sense because uh, I could probably tell if you decided not but to yeah, use it because I, I wouldn't hear the clack. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's true, yeah. But I would be silly to decide not to use it. I should let and find out, right? Sure. So yep, yep. get so I have to keep you in my game for a whole turn. I didn't get a stop point, but um, I have moved all my moves. I don't see anything else really I can do. So it goes. Probably I'm betting the weather card changes, and then it's your turn. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So you. Yeah, they can. The investigators can run around and move, um, and that doesn't matter. Just you just have to stalk them again the same way you did this round, uh, next round. Without getting revealed between now and yes. then. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, that as well. Okay, so I am. I can move the round tracker here. Um, one other thing that I didn't mention: if the round tracker runs out, the investigators lose because you're basically trapped here with a killer. So. Hmm. Um, yeah, uh, so Foggy is the next card. Uh, using a flashlight costs an extra charge during this activation. Ooh, that was poor timing. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> so now I would remove... Never a good time for that, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, you can, um, uh, you can grab your flashlight. Sometimes if you hit F on it, you can grab it if there's stuff on top of it. All right. Got it out of there. Um, so because flashlights are now expensive to use this round, that puts me in a bit of a tight spot. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, one other thing that I'll mention oh. now that there's... Oh, well, turning the lights here. on in a building isn't more time, though. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, they could, they could turn on the lights there. Um, but one last thing, uh, these are windows. So you can see through those, um, and you can also jump through those. Um, as the investigators, if you jump through a window and keep running, uh, you will take a wound, a face down wound. Um, mm -hmm. You can also jump through, stop on the other side, and decrease your stamina by one, um, and that way you won't uh, you won't take a wound. Right. Um, I'm uh, the... slowly crawling into the window instead of busting through it head first. Exactly. Yep. Okay. And then the adversary can jump through windows as well, but they have to leave a noise token and get minus one movement. Gotcha. OK. Um, so I think then what I'll do is uh, we'll, we'll start by moving Vincent again. Um, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Stop on the computer. And uh, I would just use uh, an interact uh, was it, is it an interact action to get that going? Oh, somebody new just popped in. Yep, that's me. Oh, I'm, I'm jumping yep. on in. Speaking of jumping through yeah, things. Yeah, uh... paused while that's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that's interesting about uh -huh. Tiltop Playground is it like freezes for a minute. <laughs> but um, yeah, was that the was that the Can't correct thing to do? Secretly. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you know I'm here. So here i'm started or was right uh, i started, started right here yep so i moved one so it's like two three and then four these, uh, it's, these are because oh that's right because it's pitch black, they pitch black. i can't move two. that's right okay all right so that's not as uh clean as i was thinking unfortunately unfortunately for me <laughs> Not pretty good for you. Um, so let's go one. So this would be two, three. And then if I were to roll my sprint die, would I still get that leftover fourth movement added to the? OK. Yep. Yeah, you couldn't move the extra space right now because you only have one. But you do Correct. get to add that to your sprint roll. OK, that's good. It's not wasted then. So <laughs> nope. I'll go ahead and do that. That's what you needed. Whew. OK, nice. All right. So I reduce my stamina for that, but I do get to get where I was planning on going in the first place. OK, and then I use, instead of using my flashlight, I kick on this, uh, and, the lights in here, is that the idea? 
Yep, so now this building and is, is right, and so... They set it, but just to make sure it doesn't get... That was a complex action, so you can't do anything else after that. Uh, that's what it means to have the, the dot, dot, dot next to a action, right? Right, yes. Yep, this that was the last thing I could do in my turn. Yep, and then Heather, you'll have to place down any evidence and or mm -hmm. items that are in this building. So this item is already outside, so we know it's not this one, but the evidence, and if you are in this building, you would also get revealed right now. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the building. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That was one of the buildings you said you wanted the uh, uh, evidence from, so I gave it you. <laughs> oh, that's right. But you don't remember that because you didn't have of it. Gotcha, That's gotcha. That's a bummer. So, well, now we've both <laughs> are like wasted turns by saying too much or <laughs> doing something. So we're now, Danner, the asker. Oh no, it's it's all taken good. Taken away from my my win if I win. <laughs> well, to to be fair, actually, my my brain wasn't even thinking evidence this round. My oh, brain man. was actually thinking get into the light where get you away. Can't. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of my my hope with that. Um, oh. But yeah, no, the evidence thing is important as well. Makes um, sense. Okay. Yeah, she's <laughs> no, that, she's that gonna is run a, away and hide. That is a good point. Um, okay, so then. Okay, so you. Okay, so you don't have any stock right now. Um, I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. Um. So for for um, or my second investigator here, I think I'm going to. Go one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna sprint because I want to try and get this item. That might be dangerous, but I'm curious to see what how foolhardy mm. that actually is if I if I go for it. Okay, so I definitely get there. And uh, when I pick up an item, do I lose my extra movement as well? You can keep on moving. Okay, so. Mm -mm. How about reaction? Okay, so then I'll go here. I'll pick up the item, and then I flip that over now. Yeah. Uh, yep, I got that right over here for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, perfect. Just what we all need in this situation. Um, <laughs> so I may ignore a condition <laughs> this round, delaying its effects until the next round. Okay. And this icon here means supply. Uh, so that has effectively two uses. So you grab two supply tokens. And then when you use it, you flip the mm -hmm. supply token over, mm -hmm. and then when you use it again, it's gone. Gotcha. All righty. Um, so then with my remaining two movements, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go here and here. Stop right there. OK. There it is. Um, and I can it. still use my flashlight. Yeah, and weather light, has no need, right? Not yet, at least. We are uh, debating for an extra, in some... Uh, if you want it to go, go down. Did you did you say that Sorry. I could use my flashlight Sorry, everybody. Here? There's a little bit of delay. So it's it's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to tell which question sometimes. But you can use your flashlight. Just remember, fog means you charge it. But go, go ahead and do it if you want. Oh, that's right. The fog. Mm. You know what? I'll go ahead and do it. One benefit too is because you didn't, the other guy, because you didn't use your flashlight, his charge was supposed to go up. I, I don't think you did it, but. Oh, yes. It, goes it actually does not with involved actions. So, involved, oh. there's a refresh phase, and you effectively skip the refresh phase when you take involved action. Oh, action. I'm sorry. Okay. No, it's, it's okay. So, yeah, normally he would have gained uh, charge back. Okay. But, uh, since he took an involved action, he will not. Right. Gotcha. That makes sense. Got it. All right. How about? All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna position my. Oh, but it's going through a lot of obstacles. Oof. That probably is the safer really? bet. Let's do that. I don't see any obstacle. Oh, oh, this corn. I see. The edge of the wall <laughs> it's like there. right up there. Yeah close to you yeah yeah okay. and in real life you could turn this like a little bit to the left so i'd say the middle line is good as is the left line but the right most line is blocked right now by the that, that's yeah that looks about right to me yeah 
Okay. Yep, so that's it for me. Uh, lowered my flashlight. I think my stamina is all good to go. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, I got to roll first, right? Oh, so when I hover over it, it's giving me a number that's, I believe, not true. Just that is correct. Know, yeah, right? it's a default. Ignore that. Look at the dice. Yep. Okay. Yep. Tabletop Playground won't let you mm -hmm. modify that number. So yeah, you gotta look at the feet, not the number that it shows. Really? Huh. Okay. I kind of swore there was a way Heavy to Heavy request that, or, <laughs> that should be put in their if Discord. There is. <laughs> if, if there not, is. If there is. No. <laughs> you just yeah, tip of how to do it. You couldn't find it. Um, I, I will know. look into I that later. Bet there uh, is. Is a way. I don't know it off the top of my head. Yeah. Okay. No, I've got to know my own moves. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I, I believe, because I have a game that I, I believe I did that exact thing with, because um, I was looking around for it at one point. So if I if I oh. get, I'll look into it in a little bit once we're all wrapped up here. And uh, I'll see if I can get that answer for you. You're better sleuth than we are, it seems like. <laughs> I, uh, I, I dove into the, the TTP rabbit hole for a little while there uh, during a protospiel weekend. Interesting. Man, I, I don't know about this. I don't think I have much, much of a chance and wait i think i i think i need to understand something about when i'm revealed i can attack mm -hmm. revealed or i have to always be hidden to use abilities or attacks yep you always have to be hidden so you would not if you were to like move through a flashlight or into the office right now uh you can reveal that you could that. not finish your stock nor could you attack so he he hold himself off pretty good right now Mm hmm mm hmm That's true. <laughs> For now, um, I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm looking a little weak this next round. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me think about something here. I just can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's interesting to have... There is an an aspect, kind of the princess bride, you know. Where where are you gonna go next? You can't go yep. there because that's terrible. But what about there? That would also be terrible. Mm -hmm. you know? So kind of guessing which uh, which poison I need to set up. Um, okay. I think all I'm going to do is just move and you're just not going to make any sense. Like you could take that shadow off of the, uh, of the main board. Uh, because I, that, 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 that didn't have this turn and I'm not, you don't sense that I'm stalking you turn again gotcha. sorry you said i could remove the shadow what were you referring to oh sorry i grabbed that oh this um, this I, uh, somebody did it for you yep sorry about that um I it do was like warn the, you. it's the little piece that gives you you a, uh, a sense of what i i had been looking at you for and i actually oh, do I need to make sure i know where it is so next time i use it Gotcha. Yeah. It. Sorry, I okay, I grabbed you. that one. Um, uh, one one thing I will caution you about, Heather. Um, so if you aren't able to stock um, either of them, they'll lose their spine shield. So you have to start over again, basically. Oh, I know, but I don't think I have any choice. Okay. From where I was. Unless, okay, that's I'm missing totally something. Fine. I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, 
I, if I'm, re yeah, I, I, I don't, let me just double, I, I don't think I can, I, either of them. Okay. From where I used to be. It, to get line of sight because of this, because like, oh, Tanner's hidden. And yeah corner of the building there is or, a I mean, Tanner. Right Tanner's side. both of them is hidden yeah. and <laughs> right right but yeah. it's yeah super if you could far away get to there so, but yeah I, 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 I didn't see where you started so sorry about that oh yeah that's okay yep I, I have to relent and just uh, let you recover from that spine chilling experience. But probably just go ahead and leave those cards out because we're going to be repeatedly using the main thing I do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so you're all set then? Out and accessible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we move Other on change? to the next uh, weather card. Yep. Go ahead and flip a card over there. Yeah, and yep, just moves tracker. up one, right? Or did yes. you already? Yeah, I don't think. You nope, that's that good. Yet. You got it. Okay. Sprinting costs one extra stamina. Stamina during this activation. Oh. Sprinting always costs me one extra lung. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> and then, so a couple of things happen here. The uh, this building burns out, so that flips over. Uh, this means this building cannot be made bright again. Ooh, okay. And then your flashlight comes off the board. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so now I'm in. I, I I avoided that one <laughs> that one round, but I, I feel like this is going to be a scary round for me. Exactly. Yep. Like you saved yourself that round, but now you're you're cheese on a flashlight. <laughs> Vincent's stuck in a pitch black room, so mm -hmm. it's you save yourself, but at the expense of potentially getting stalked again this round. Now. Yeah, this is going to get spicy really quickly. Um. All right, so who goes first? Um, so if I go through a window, as long as I don't continue moving, I just reduce my stamina by one. Yep. All right, and now this building is dark, so it still costs me two movement to move through it. Yep. Hmm. Okay. You do have an item. And this guy, Vincent is good at scouting mm -hmm. yeah double checking my major and minor abilities here oh yeah yeah one of vincent's items could come in handy right now mm -hmm. yeah i'm mm -hmm. thinking that might that might need to be a thing and this 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 one oh that one should yeah tokens to too. thank you catch it on all right um so place the glow stick token within four spaces. That space and all spaces within two of it are now dim. I'm assuming that doesn't work through walls, though. Yep. You could go out the window with it, for example. So go like one, you could put it here, and that would make this dim, as well as the, the ones adjacent to it. Um, but it has to have a movement line connecting to it. Gotcha. OK. Um, yeah, that'll probably be my move then. I'm just going to move Vincent out this window here. Um, and I can't drop it at you, my feet. And I guess you wanted to stop there so you don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I just reduce stamina by one. Yeah, you actually wouldn't need the glow stick to even get out there, because if you're ending your movement, then you, that's just three spaces, so you're, you don't need to spend your glow stick yet. Sure. Um, I think my concern, though, is Heather walking up and smacking me in the face if I don't put some light down. <laughs> Oh, it's it's a dim, so actually that will not... Uh, there's a different item that makes it bright. That one just makes ah, it dim. So dim okay. is the same as outdoors, where it's just one moving per space, but it won't reveal nice. anything. So, and Heather only gets revealed with bright light. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> whew, all right. Yeah. So you still might get smacked in the face. Yeah, the glow stick is super useful for inside buildings to make it easier to move inside buildings, yeah. Right. Huh, you know what? 
<laughs> maybe th maybe this isn't a good idea, but maybe it's worth it. I might actually just just book it through this window. Won't be the first time someone's done it. Won't let's let's last. go for it. Why not? <laughs> so so I move two spaces here, and then as long as I'm running through, this doesn't cost like extra movement to go through a window, right? Nope. Okay, so two, three, four. So I would take a wound. Um, I just, just take. Just draw. Yep, just draw a random on there, and it's a face down wound. Okay, cool. Um, and then I will. Mm -hmm. So actually, <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, did. I, I wouldn't oh, yep. keep my stamina. But I'm gonna roll the die because I want to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Heather's Heather's aura is is getting scarier by the second. I don't even have to look at her on the camera, and I know that she's. <laughs> <laughs> she's got bloodthirst in her eyes uh, let's go three spaces one two three yeah I'm loving how it's really um, um, hopefully not in a healthy way creates the sensation of being a serial killer and being stopped <laughs> by a serial killer it sounds, seems like because <laughs> like the way Tanner is making choices is very <laughs> like I'm trying to be, really would be like know? so so defensive but also like not like self um what's the term I'm trying to think of like I'm I'm playing defensively but in a way that's also hurting me maybe I'm being like overly cautious but um I'm going to put my flashlight down <laughs> here as well right. keep Reduce mind my... right now this is not covered and so if she is right there she won't get revealed, but you can. Yep. yep yeah. There we go. That, click it that way. There we go. Okay. Now it's covered. Okay. All right. And then we move over to our, our <laughs> other friend here. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Okay. And, and here's, a, here's a question I want to make sure to ask before it has so that, that I'm feeling something when I'm not supposed to be. If Tanner's moving through dim spaces and I'm standing in one of them, just passes me, right? Like, say anything about the fact that I'm actually in that space, correct? Yep, and I, it's not like I can correct. interrupt an attack. Either. Yes? Okay. Yep. Yeah, and you uh, actually... So we, we had that in the game at one point, but then it actually hurts you because it reveals where you are. And so then he gets to come and flashlight you with this other character or with a different player. So that makes we sense. used to have that, but it's better for you right. to not reveal where you are. Uh, otherwise, it's bad for you. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. All right. I think... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, that turn... That Vincent's turn really cracks me. <laughs> like, oh no! I, you're like I, he just saw the like um, the the method of like I wait a second. No. Don't even care. I'm like give us some. <laughs> it's just that that myself. scene from the uh, the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> just I don't care. Just going head first yep, through that window. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to actually do a pretty bland turn with um, I. I it is chi okay I, I was thinking key but thank you for clarifying um so with chi i'm gonna move one two three four um and my flashlight is dead so i can't use that so I, i'm actually not gonna sprint here i think i'm gonna regain my composure a little so i in this case i would gain a stamina back mm -hmm. yes and a flashlight yep. yep okay and actually, Chi's minor ability comes in very handy. Like, if she was the one that would have done the computer last round, involved actions basically don't affect her. Uh, so she, if she was the one that did it, she could have finished her movement mm. if she had any left and or uh, regained her flashlight. Gotcha. Um, so something to keep in mind for, like, this next computer if you're about to light it up. Uh, no, that's very good to point to do out. It with. Good stuff. All right, I think that's it for me then. Heather, um, do your worst. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, gotcha. Yeah, Heather, I forgot to mention this, but you can, if you like, some people like this, some people don't, you can create uh, saved camera views. Uh, so if you hit, are you, in, are you in a Mac or a PC? Mm -hmm. A PC. So you can hit control. Yeah, just to make this whole thing go a lot faster. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot easier in real life when you can just look up and see it. But in here, it's kind of hard to navigate back and forth. So if you hit control and then 
like a number one, like one, for example, it'll save this camera. And then if you move to the board and hit control two, it'll save that as camera two. And then you can hit alt one or alt two to kind of go back and forth to whatever view you have saved. Oh, gosh. Okay. That doesn't seem to be working for me. Hold on. Ooh, yeah, it's not Alt-1. Definitely not. It's taking me to a very nonsense place. Now, oh, you were right about Control-1 being how I saved it. <clears throat> but how to get back to is a question. Weird, it's working for me if I yeah, do, like, Control-1, then Alt-1. It does take me back to the right oh. spot. Interesting. Oh, okay, so, so you were pushing those buttons and it was saving a camera view. Ah, uh, yep. So it's not so, individually. Okay. It's for the it's oh, globally it's for the table. It's for th huh. Nobody else do that, I guess. Or <laughs> we have to call make like call. Um well actually <laughs> Which number? Maybe <laughs> that's that's super weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the way I would expect it to work. But I'm really the one who needs it more, so maybe I should yeah. be the one in charge of what they are and when it gets pushed. So you you go ahead, Heather. I think you were it, and then you had a then you saved something and it made it really weird for me. Yeah, okay, it's working. <laughs> for me. Give me a second to store them. <laughs> oh, so many things to learn. That's part of honestly these. Uh, uh, tested streams is being able to sh talk about these things and like see wrong or s like learn new tricks for using all these different, different platforms. I'm glad that that's happening. Um, it helps us out learn things. Ooh, it's kind of a jarring though. <laughs> it kind of goes yeah. crazy between when it uh, shows me something and I, oh, I got, got a, I also got a roll even know how much okay good deal or oh you don't even know tanner <laughs> maybe i'm happy <laughs> 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 Tanner, I have you take your, your headphones new off place for like and you want seconds. me to take my heads off? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah I'll go ahead and oh, you go think? Ahead. Okay. And then yeah, yeah. Heather, just ping sure, me again sure. when you're ready. <laughs> okay. So there's two options here. There's a door I... <clears throat> you could go out. You're talking. About. Or you could smash the window too. Mm -hmm. But then that's that slows you down one, and he'll know you went through the window. So that may not be the best Crazy. option. Go through that door, uh, right by that evidence. Mm -hmm. It'd be a little faster to get. I started it. right here, right? Y yes, oh, I, I think so. To find out one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two. Yes, and a little closer. Sure. Oh, he is okay. going in that building like next turn, most likely. So you can position yourself wherever you want mm -hmm. accordingly. Well, yeah, this, this is, yeah. You'll have some good line of sight from there, I think. Uh, from here? Yeah, next, Gosh. I should say next round, really? you'll be able to I don't get. I think so, because this, oh, yeah. Okay. From here? If they go into the building? Or you just mean if they come out here? Like next round when they... Um, or actually, I guess you have two movements. You could go down when you come out the door and you might be able to see uh, one of them. To like space 99. Oh, never mind. I, no, I thought he was in the alleyway. He's not. 
But next round, you'll be in a good position to move and then uh, get mm -hmm. line of sight to them. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather be closer to this place. Yep, yep. yep. Okay. Let me recall Tanner. <laughs> just a second. I am back. It's your turn again. Well, I guess here I can, and I guess I could do this because this can be my, it's your turn uh, <laughs> signal for you. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Investigators decrease their feet by one during this activation. And that's my base movement, I'm guessing. Base movement. Yep. Okay. Okay. That is slightly unclear. My immediate thought is it's the symbol that's on the sprint die, that it's if you roll the sprint die, you have to decrease that by one. That's what I would have assumed based on the way it's worded, personally. Yeah, that's a good point. We, we're, we've, we're in the process of adding in like the, the name after the icons um, so it's clear like exactly which one it's referring to so we can make sure we clarify that on the on that card gotcha gotcha all right um, or if like so we are if the move and sprint icons were different maybe different too yeah but um, yeah i'm gonna make yeah. a note of that right now i already have so many icons <laughs> so i don't know if i i'm not strongly suggesting <laughs> adding another one just mm -hmm be clear is there any uh evidence tokens within two spaces the adversary must place them face down on the main board okay okay so i think i'm going to use vincent's uh first um i'm going to move vincent oh and um i'm assuming the the um investigators they can move through each other as long as they don't end on the same space you got it. Yep. Okay. So let's go one, two, and three. I'm going to plop Vincent right on this spot. And uh, I'm going to use the scout minor ability. Um, so then if there are any evidence tokens within two spaces of me, the adversary must place them face down on the main board. Uh, those would be for items, not for evidence. Oh, oh sorry. Item tokens. And there, yeah. So you're basically okay. guaranteed to find the item. Uh, actually, I think you you already got that one at the start of the game. Oh, that's right, because it was this building. Yep. Yep. Oh. But normally, like if you hadn't found the item yet, you're guaranteed to find it with his with his ability. That makes sense. All right. So I can only move three anyways. Okay, but it doesn't cost. Not a big deal. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I will. So I did, I'm not going to sprint, so I get a stamina back, but I think I am still going to use my flashlight this round. Um, so let me... Mm -hmm. Well, here, how about I move key, or Chi first um, out of the way so I can put the flashlight down properly. So let's do one, two. So that's... Oh, she's got two. I would expect... Here. Oh, I would have. Okay. I guess it depends on what you're up to, but if you're trying to go in that building, I would shine light in the building so she can move around in it more quickly. No? Heather's trying to trick me. <laughs> uh, I mean, that could, or you do the glow sticks. I'm... You could do both. You could chuck a glow stick in there mm, for Chi and then cover Dom with the flashlight. <clears throat> I was thinking about that. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to take a bit, but I also want to watch my, my six o'clock as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the glow stick's <laughs> going to be a thing. So let's do the glow stick, Makes and that'll sense. go within four spaces. So let's let's plop it right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So then, uh, so now, assuming Vincent's all done. Um, cool. Yep, she is going to... So she only gets one more free movement. 
And I'm going to go ahead and sprint. So I'll reduce oh, stamina. And she started right here, right? Oh. Uh, she started right here, actually. Gotcha. Yeah, so she's moved three spaces, and I my movement is reduced by one because of the, the rainy effect. Um, so yeah, so then I'm going to Got roll it. the dice. Okay, I got two feet. That's just what I needed. Perfect. One, two. Stamina's been reduced. Um, and then I can go ahead and okay. activate the terminal. Right. I'll get a bright yep. And I can yeah. Yep. And then I can still recover stamina and a charge token, correct? Uh, not stamina because you sprinted, but charge, ah. yes. Okay. So you could either use your flashlight or recover, but since you're in a bright building, you're pretty you're pretty safe. Yeah, so I'll just get back the, the charge then, and then, yep. yep, that's lit up. All right, so then anything ah. in this building of, of importance, I get to see. There you go. There is your evidence. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, and I believe that's everything I can do. Okay. <clears throat> and through the end of your turn, you have oh everybody's coming on in <laughs> yep we're, we're taking turns joining in the party got it i will be right back um okay so <clears throat> uh, uh, flashlight remains down Mutual. Oops, wait. I'll go back here. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> put the spine spine chill on G. Ooh, okay. And oops. Um, Heather, I think from the location that you stalked from, I think you might be able to get Vincent as well, actually. Is it eight spaces away, if I remember Yeah, correctly? I think so. Because yeah, it looks like the line is fine, but... Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's only seven spaces away, so... Wow, okay. Thanks. Calculated. <laughs> All right, so we... Yeah, that seemed unlikely to me because of all the stuff in there, but sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it helps when we have the uh, the um, straight uh, straight edge. Uh, you can hit M to make a line like that. If you hit M and press and hold, you can make a line. Um, the problem is it snaps to the center of the circle, so it's not mm -hmm. always easiest, um, but yeah. Right. Uh, so this card just came out. Uh, the storm grows in strength, but is manageable. This card has no effect. Okay. All right. So the flashlight comes off. I am within the butcher's gaze. Okay. All right. This glow stick removes a supply token that comes off the board. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah that's right. The token at the end of the round. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and the building is now no longer lit. Yep, yep, you can flip that over. Okay, this is, yep, this is going to be spicy time now. Because, <laughs> yep, everyone's in shambles. Well, Vincent's in shambles, but... who this is going to be, yeah. Okay, I might have an idea. Um... Oh yeah, that's not gonna work though. Ooh. And I cannot put a glow stick through a window. You can. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, gotcha. As long as you said as long as it's connected by a line. Okay. Yep. If you could move there, you can throw it there. Okay. Okay, I think I have a game plan. All right. Um so I'm going to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to roll the... Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's not guaranteed, but let's let's see what I can do. Um, so roll the sprint die. Okay, I get three feet. One, two, three. Reduce my stamina. And I'm going to throw another glow stick. Um, and we're going to do this. We'll put that there. Nice. Really boomerang it around that palette there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you bend the glow stick a little, you get a little, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little curve on it. Um, okay. And then uh, Vincent did not use his flashlight, so he gets charged back. Um, and then Chi is going to move uh, one, two, three spaces in this dimly lit area uh that last one would be two because it's that not last one would be two. To the, yeah oh it's not adjacent mm -hmm. oh, oh okay i thought it said the glow stick is it oh anything but i'm two sorry i'm thinking the other the i'm thinking the lantern that's adjacent yes you're you're fine okay cool just wanted to double check um cool so then i move on to the evidence space and then taking the evidence is a free action was it? Yeah. Yep. You can just grab it. Okay, cool. That just gets added to my collection here. Yep. And then you get to draw an evidence card. Um, so you can grab the top one there. Okay. And I think I have a thing that works with that. The next time an investigator would draw an evidence card, I get to draw two, choose one, and discard the other. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can do that if you'd like. Right. And is Heather supposed to see both of these, or is this like a private choice? Um, so, again, typically we'd play with them face down, but for like a beginner game, we just leave everything face up because it's easier and everyone's learning. So Sure. No, that makes sense. Um, where did the, was it just this deck here? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. So I get large item stash mm -hmm. or leaky battery. Mm -hmm. Have the adversary place three. Interesting. You may place the battery token four spaces away. Yeah, so leaky battery is something that might help and you my with understanding um, here the is truck that... escape route. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to take the leaky battery. For a large item stash, am my understanding it correct that I am supposed to reveal them if they are currently within eight spaces of the investigators, right? Like, where they are changes because Tanner gets it's that card or is it that way uh no yeah so for that one you would just grab three items um put them in a stack and place them right on the main board so it's three completely new items um, getting placed on the main board oh okay okay all right um so i'm going to take the leaky battery so this would get discarded um over here Yep. And there's one other thing. So as a, another little help, like basically mm -hmm. every time you collect an evidence, you're exploring the sawmill more. So you get more information about it. Um, so you can choose just like you did at the beginning of the game. You can choose one of the red um, adversary spaces to um, make Heather put the item that is there on the main board. Gotcha. You won't actually like get to grab it this time like you did before. It just reveals it on the main board. 
Sure. That's that was a specific thing for the two player. Yep, that was just setup stuff. Okay. Um Okay, yeah, Heather, go ahead and plop an item. Hmm. Go ahead and plop an item here in the sawmill. In in uh like specifically on this spot or within eight of this spot? I think it's I think it's yeah within the uh that zone like it was during setup. Yeah, this is the first evidence okay. that was collected. Um so basically you just oh, get gosh. you have to reveal where the item is and just place it on the main board from where it is on your mini map. Oh, so I am revealing an item. I'm revealing the item that was associated with that spot. Okay, so this is yeah, you're just different than the one that we were talking about before. Yep. Okay, sorry. No problem. I'm trying to, <laughs> um, I'm not having awesome luck, but I'm trying to add, since I don't think that our, my computer can with it, I'm trying to add from my phone some, um, appropriate ambiance music and it's uh mine is being spotify is not helping me out <laughs> very well <laughs> no <laughs> problem. This. like it's not me screams which is pretty distracting <laughs> i was um, wondering what but that let was. me see if i can find one that's actually music that can be quietly ratcheting a, a creepy factor for tanner if, <laughs> if you're not creeped out enough already oh i'm always creeped out um let's see <laughs> How about, okay, so yeah, I was in the middle of Chi's turn. So Chi still has an, an, a floating movement left that I could use. Um, so let's go ahead and actually don't know what I want here. This is an awkward corner to be in. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna have key move towards the window. Um, but just stay there, I think. Maybe. No, um... I'm gonna have to sprint either way. <sighs> She's just gonna stay there. Um, but I do think a flashlight is probably needed yeah this is a bit of a tough spot though you know what um i'm gonna have her stay i'm gonna have her move up here in fact with her last movement um i'm gonna use her flashlight to position like so and i think that should do it so I reduce battery by one. And I believe her stamina goes back up by one since I did not sprint. Yes, that's right. All right. And then I believe I've done everything I can with my investigators. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not revealed to you. Um, I'm standing. Well, let me double check. I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering where I'm standing correctly. I'm not revealed. That's correct. Okay. Hmm. What to do? You really managed to uh, make this hard for me. I guess I need to know how many spaces I move for all. That's always the first question. <laughs>
Interesting. Yeah, and I don't. Okay. Okay. Might be able to do that. Let me see. Oh, but it, it's that card says the. Oh, what is it even called? <laughs> Disturbing presence to end my move within forces of them. Okay, so if I end my move within forces of spaces of any. The investigator Tanner, your um, stamina, go stamina goes down by one, but it doesn't cause you to receive a wound. Like right now, it would not actually wound you if I could do that to Vincent. Interesting. But okay. I have to end within four of you. Gotcha. Um, nothing really. I don't get damaged by being revealed. It's just. Um, you just aren't I, able to I, use I any like offensive. The mystery is removed. Seems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I could see, yeah, I could okay, see situations so where it's all, probably better for you to actually move through flashlight, uh, light in order to like reposition in a way that's like more advantageous for like the next turn. Yeah. It's definitely kind of a last resort thing, I but need, um, sometimes you do have to. I need this so I can get this out from under it. <laughs> I think I can probably get rid of my glow right stick too. Yeah. Was. So the glow stick's not going to affect okay. Heather in any way, I don't think. That's correct. Okay. So. Yeah, first of all, from here, I get line of sight on Chi. So sh that means I get, uh, there's no damage or anything done to you, but I get one of my power ups. Okay, you are stalking. That, right? Mm hmm. Um,. And Vincent's here. And, and so it seems like you have to you have to put the shadow also where you are when disturbing presence, right? No, for that one, you actually don't have to, but you do have because to tell them that you're within four spaces. Okay. Okay, and that's five sets. Yeah, I mean, in this, in it's not necessarily going to always be this way, but in this situation, if Tanner can't see me and I say I'm within four spaces of Chi, then there's only two places I could possibly be, I think, pretty much. In less than noise, um, basically. Mm -hmm. mm, interesting. Part of me is making that noise because she's in the dark. I have some glow sticks and stuff that might make it easier for you to get away from me faster. But yeah, you can't turn the lights on in here. I guess you have a flashlight. It's pretty low on bad. I'd be forcing you to use it, basically. Yeah, I'm in a pretty. Oh, in is there a way to break here. a wind? Is there, it's kind of protecting you though, but is there a way to break the window and not actually go through with the adversary? 
Um, no, not currently. Um, that's possibly an ability we, okay. you know, we might add, but not currently. And there are evidence cards that can either permanently open a window or permanently close it. Uh, but that is an evidence card that the investigator will play, not one that an adversary would play. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not me to get you both at the same time with that four away. Um, and it's not actually going to wound you. I, to me, it kind of seems like meh. Uh, like all that does is take away one stamina from Chi and so what, <laughs> you know what I, mm -hmm. and it reveals where I am. So I don't think I am going to use that power. I'm going to go ahead and um, accept that I've uh, fully stocked and gotten a little bit of, uh, powered up my attack, basically. So... All set then. Um, yep. I'm just kind of deciding where I'm gonna actually be standing since I can stalk you and then move. Okay. Oops. Other round. Other weather card. I'm assuming that this game takes place in Michigan because the weather is changing on a dime. Um, We're actually from Minnesota. <laughs> that is Colorado. <laughs> no, yep, and Wisconsin and Minnesota. So <laughs> take your pick. There you go. Um, <laughs> so investigators may not pick up item tokens during this activation. Okay. Interesting. All right, so I removed my flashlight. Um, and this spine chill thing, because I didn't get um, hit again, these both go away again? Yes. Okay. Oh, you did get... Uh, she did get hit again, though. Oh. oh yeah, so actually, either That's way, they go away. Um, from here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, you, okay, it's so just you have the it, difference is that... You can't keep you building it up. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so, so then, does anything happen to me if she did stalk me successfully, or was it just? Nope. It just means she's got more power and she can start attacking you. Okay. I didn't know if that affected me personally in any way. Um, for now, at least. <laughs> <laughs> right. Probably spells bad news later. Um, yeah. Okay. So I know where I need to go next. The question is, how do I get there? The lights are out. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be a tough trek over there. Um, OK, so I'm going to start by moving Chi, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably the move. Um, so I move two spaces to go here, uh, three and four to go here. Mm -hmm. And then let's do a sprint. OK, I got four feet. Nice. One, two, three, four. And then, who? This is yeah. This is going to be where this gets tough. Okay, those are all. Gosh, yeah. I'm not sure if there's a great way to get through here. Okay. 
Um, whew, yeah, this is a this is a tough one. All right, I'm gonna just leave Chi here. Um, so she reduced her stamina by one. Uh, she's not using her flashlight, so she gets a charge back. All right, now moving on to Vincent. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh, you poor thing. You have no no air in your lungs. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is there is, an inhaler this... item? <laughs> There's an energy bar. Oh, I love it. Um, all right. Okay. So I think I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to sprint. So Vincent will get some, some air back. Um, but I am going to use my flashlight. think yeah that should cover my bases i think let's try that okay. right and then um i think that was everything pretty sure yep yep that all checks out Over to Heather. Oh, okay. This one too. I don't know if you pointed at it, right? Yeah, this one I definitely will reveal. Not this one. But it's... okay. Right now it's just these three in the middle. So if you go top down, this left one hits the wall right here. But again, in real life, we could say you rotate it slightly. That was that get... was my assumption. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep. So then we'll say you get these four here. Yeah, that was the that was the idea. Everything else makes sense for sure. Yep. This is oh, the tough part about it. Yeah. But just you'd top. be able to like scoot nudge it yeah. slightly. Yeah, yeah. that exactly. seems fair that that one is it. Oof. What's this Orion thing? Okay. <laughs> Uh, have not revealed me though, so. I had all a feeling, right. but is that the end of your turn? Yes, I am all finished. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you need your piece back under here? Oh yeah, I pro. Hopefully, I'll be able to use it. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also, so is there um, line of sight through door? Are they there are they obstructions? They yes, through can... windows, but not through. Doors is what I would assume. No, you can see through doors. Um, as long as there's no token on them, they're open. So you can see through them. Oh, okay. Oh, see, that's what maybe that's something uh, Chi would have wanted to actually do standing next to that door is like it. Um, makes sense. Oh, I need to roll again. I always forget that I need to do that before I can start <laughs> making hands okay oh and i also have some currency to spend on attacking a person gosh maybe One minor detail. Okay. Um, that 
doesn't come up very often um, that I want to warn you about is if you end up stopping on a door and they close the door on you, you'll get revealed. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I drop a shadow here, I would sight on her. Uh, um, I don't S6. believe so. Uh, yes, you would. So that that um, obstacle is a low obstacle. There's no like white outline to it. So oh, you can see that I one. see. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, I am going to put it here so I have a line of sight on you. Okay, so I get my spine chill back. And... Right. Yep. And let me put my person where I'm going to stop. Up. and then round advances. Okay, nothing going on this round. Okay. Everything continues to be spicy. Um, See, I think I know what I'm doing with Chi. I have no idea what I'm doing with Vincent. And that's a little scary. Um, whew, yeah, that's really scary. Okay. So I think for Chi... Uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then spend a stamina for four to go through the window. Um, I will end okay, my turn. Okay, but not by take using a wound. Flash. Okay. Yeah, because I stopped there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's uh -huh. probably that's probably my best move here. Okay, and yep, then there's nothing for... that you revealed with the flashlight. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Oops. All right, so I think it's time for Vincent to just run like hell. Um, so Vincent is going to move uh, one, two, three, four spaces to go here. And then I'm going to roll the die. What's going on here? There we go. Ooh, only two feet. Okay. So one, two, we'll, we'll place it right here. Uh, so I reduce my stamina. Okay, and I think that's all I am going to do. Yeah, that seems probably like the best thing I can do at the mm -hmm. moment. Go for it. I feel like I'm getting slapped this turn. So, okay, Chi is the one that has the spine chill on her. Uh, yes. Hmm. You're very good at placing your flashlight. I <laughs> I'm using it more as a wall at this point. That's, that's usually how it turns mm -hmm, into. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very good defensive maneuver. All right, 
while it many spaces I can move. Oh, I forgot to uh, increase my charge on my flashlight for Vincent because I didn't use it. There we go. Did I roll? <laughs> Literally, I got distracted by my earbud falling out and I didn't, I can't tell if I rolled. Did I roll it or not? I say go ahead. No? Do it again. Yeah, okay. you may as well re-roll. I don't recall. Okay. Okay. I'm just imagining this like uh, ghost okay. saying like, oh, hold on a second, guys. My AirPod fell out <laughs> as I'm being chased by I have a feeling that the ghost is listening to Yeah by Usher exclusively. Like that's the, that's the <laughs> one song on the playlist, like nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna drop this right here. Well, mm -hmm, and put spine chill on Vincent. Okay. And she is not going to get any point, so get off. And let me. Um, place my person and move up the track. Draw the card. No effect. Hmm. This doesn't seem worse than it used to be to me. <laughs> <laughs> It will, it will get worse. It definitely will. Yeah, we only got four cards left in that deck, so I'm sure something bad is coming. There's oh. one blank. There's one blank in the, uh, mid, the moderate storm cards, but there's two blanks in the previous ones. That's the only blank that's left in this deck. And the last one stays out for the rest of the game. So there's not 18 cards. There's not one for every round. Uh, the last card just oh. stays in effect the rest of the game, depending on I what see. card it is, I should say. Hmm, gotcha. Um, oh, All right. okay. Flashlight comes off. All right. Um, so I'm going to move Vincent one, two, three spaces. I'm going to use my last glow stick. Going to do another boomerang shot through the window here. <laughs> um, to go right here, which I think should still should illuminate this and this space. Um, yep. Oh, well, hmm. it doesn't wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it, it should it so make it dim, not it. Yeah, not bright. Right. Yep, just dim. Um, Question is, do I? Hmm. Yeah, that's probably the. Well, I don't think it's really needed. Okay, well, I know Vincent's not moving anywhere else, um, so he's going to get his stamina back. Question is, do I want to use this flashlight here? I'm going to take a risk and say no, he's not going to use his flashlight here. Um, all right, and then for Chi, uh, she's going to go one, two, three, four spaces. Um, and then she's going to have to sprint, which is going to give her a wound, I believe, since it's hitting this spot. Yep, you are correct. Okay, so that's face down, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's roll the die, see what we get. Okay, we get three feet. 
Okay, and then she is going to turn on the terminal. The lights are on. All right, the lights are on. There we go. All right. Any reveals here in the, the building? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I think you grabbed your. Oh, you got three different pieces. Okay. Oh, the, the butcher is in yeah. there. Yeah, is it's that that they're further apart? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They won't drop. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, it's not a one to one. Yeah. The only thing is, like, I can't really remember exactly where the, this one was. Um, it does No, it's like here. It must. Well, oops, 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 oops. It has to be with it. It must be there because the, that's two yeah. away. So it's it's right here. Yeah, I think so. Here. And I know where these two are. They're here and here. Oh, you're protecting what, it. Okay. I'm cracking up because, <laughs> well, I guess so. <laughs> That's kind of just how it, but I, th I think when I placed this down, I didn't really raise that. I didn't notice the here, but um, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go through it. You're light into it. So yep, I was convinced really if I went through that door that I'd get smacked in the face immediately. And now you're far away from me. Yeah. You were right. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. um, so, but the, okay, so, so the light is, okay, on, on at the end of your turn and you can recharge your flashlight. Uh, yes. So right. I'm not going to be using my flashlight on cheese she gets that back and she can still finish her movement too yep she still has two feet left um so i suppose oh yeah that's, yes. that's cheese minor ability is she can essentially ignore involved actions since you can't harm me this round or at least mm -hmm. harm chi mm -hmm. yeah she'll move there i think And then Vincent has a spine chill, right? I, I maybe it's an assumption that she's not, not going to use her flashlight. So since the adversary got since what the butcher got sorry? revealed, uh, spine chill, and since the butcher got revealed, uh, that will flip face over. Since she can't finish the stock once uh, the butcher is oh, revealed, that'll oh, essentially oh, go away. Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that was everything I could do um, on my go. Okay. I I guess there is, I don't, maybe it's not, I said you're not going to use her flashlight, but maybe that's an assumption. I don't know if you want to use it to protect Vincent or anything like that. I don't think I could um, from Chi's current position. And I also think if I'm, like I'm, maybe okay. I'm, maybe I'm incorrect, but you said that like each, each individual investigator has to complete their full turn, like separately. Like I couldn't be like, I'm going to do a couple things over here and then jump back over here and then come back to Chi later. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all set with Vincent. I can't, I already finished, uh, finished doing stuff with him. Okay. Yeah, I was talking about with Chi, but okay. If you, uh, I'm yeah, I'm not sure that she can't protect him, but just didn't want to be the one who made you not like skip over <laughs> considering that. It looks like a I'm telling a ghost story now because it uh, we we are taking a while to play this, and my auto light turned off, but I can turn it back. Maybe I'll be a little <laughs> bit less scary that way. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, just to clarify, since okay, the butcher so here is revealed, I am. Uh, he, she cannot attack any of you. So once the butcher gets revealed, on the butcher's next turn after the reveal, which is this one right now, um, all you can do right now is move out of the light and then disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot attack or spine chill uh, or use okay. any ability aside from breaking doors down. So 
uh, the other thing to point out is that when you move through bright spaces, you have to show every space you move through. So as an example, uh, if you were, if you wanted to go out mm -hmm. some other exit, you would have to show like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you could disappear. Okay. But since you're right next to a door, you can just go one, two, and disappear. Right, right. So yeah, you always want to take, or the almost always want to take the shortest way. exit. Yep. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But now this building will never be able to be complete over again, too, right? Yep. Also, only yep. Time. when you get the evidence, like your goal shift, right? Yep, I have to get my escape route, I think, at that point. Once you have, yep. have all the evidence. Yep. Yep. Or you have to, or we're going to, once you get this, we're going to do something with the, with these cards that this is what you were point, pointing at, right? That that would yeah, yes. happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, let me roll. You all, like usual. And then, um, move one and then off the board. Ah. And then you'll place a shadow token. So you can just move the shadow token to where you disappeared from on the main board. So that way it's, it's just a reminder for the investigators where you disappeared from. Happens to be the exact same place that Ario is sitting though, right? Uh, the oh, door will or, be bright. I thought it was sitting in the door. Building, so be... Yeah, yeah, it was, but uh, the door is lit up with the rest of the building since it has that S prefix. Uh, so it would have to be the first space outside okay. the door that you move to. Is is the shadow okay? So I have to reveal the first space outside of the door that I move. Exactly. Got yep. it. Okay. Let me get back to the board. I'm gonna put it right here. It's kind of a disadvantage for the adversary not like not being able to have a little flashlight for your little board to see if you would be in flashlight or not. You know, you have to kind of do it in your head. Yeah, right? we actually are thinking of including little punch out uh, flashlights. So we have mini tokens for the characters for you to use. Like you could put on your mini map, they're not in tabletop playground, but. Um, there will be punch board tokens that you can use to like track where the investigators are on your mini map. And then we're thinking of including little punch out flashlights for that exact reason as well. I will say I'd like yeah, to add that though, would like, be nice. In in person, you it's also a lot easier to just kind of glance over the player screen. Whereas, you know, mm -hmm. in in the games you have to actually scroll all the way there and back to look. Yeah, it's not as easy to eyeball in mm -hmm. TTP. Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. Okay. Um, good. Buying the bread. Any two locked door tokens to the damage door side. Okay. But since there's no locked doors currently, that doesn't really do anything at the moment. Um, you can do it on empty spaces um, at mm -hmm. the end there. So you can basically just put um, damage doors out there. I see. Okay. 
guess I should read the full card. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Egg on my face. Yeah, Which since there are damaged. none you can grab, I'll put them out here for you. So you can put those on any door spaces in the map, whichever ones you want. Oh, just like right. I'm sorry. I I read, again, again, I read that as meaning like during my turn, I would be able to, um, it may immediately. like if I could do a door, I could do that. In nope. Yeah. Immediately anywhere on the map. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, and once that happens, no one can go through that door ever again, me or them. Uh, so what will happen is right? if you are next to the door, you can destroy it uh, by using an action. Um, and that will indicate that you don't have to put your exact position down, but then uh, Tanner will know you were next to that door. Alternatively, if Tanner opens it, it mm -hmm. also becomes... So it's basically got one life left, and the next time somebody interacts with it, it's gone. And then it's just a, yeah, no, no door there anymore. Yep, exactly. Okay, and then it's never, so it doesn't keep, it keeps them able to lock me out of spaces. It doesn't keep people from moving through. Correct. Right? Yep. Okay. Mm I believe everything is, well, no, not everything, but everything in the buildings is revealed now. Everything that's inside buildings. Um, and I don't, don't think I'm giving anything away to that just because all the, the evidence is inside the buildings and all of the spots that mm -hmm. um, Tanner is there outside of buildings. So I would necessarily be so. I don't care about doors for that reason. Um, and items are not really a goal either. Like, um, correct? Like, getting them just helps you out, but it's, it's not part of your objective. Exactly. Right. Okay. I'll put them there. I. Uh, I'm not sure that I understand why I should care about that second one, where I put that second one, but I don't know their goal yet, so I don't really have much to go off of there. Yeah, basically you place it where you think they might move through, which that's a very common door because it's right in the middle of the map. So that way, if they mm -hmm. do go through the door, now that door is permanently broken and they can't lock it up after mm -hmm. that. Makes sense to me. Yeah, this they can't really hope to lock me in that building anyways. Um, oh yeah, it, it won't anyway. ever lock you in a building, but it'll slow you down. So like, let's say you were right here and then they lock this door. You now have to go either out this window mm -hmm. or all the way around. So it, it slows you down for a minimum of one turn. But you, yeah, you, it's, you can't ever really get locked in a building. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we're back over to investigators. Lights yes. out. That building is now pitch black. Spooky. Okay. So I think the move here is Vincent is going to go one to what was the thing to break through a door? Uh, it's just a it's an interact action. So you open the door, and then it just becomes a destroyed door once you open it. Okay if it's damaged already. Right. Is that the only interaction I can do for the turn? Nope. Yep, yeah, you can do as many interacts. So you could like lock a door, pick up an item, pick up an evidence, you drop an item. You can do all the interacts as many times as you're able to. Uh, the main limiting factor is how far you can okay. move. Okay, so I've only moved two spaces. I can still move two more. So let's go three and four. Let's grab the evidence. That will be pitch black in there, so you're gonna have to sprint to get in there. That's right. Yep. Uh -oh. The door is dim, so it just it'd be three to get to here, and then four or five to get to the evidence. So you'll get there no matter yeah. what. Yeah. So I'll just uh, reduce my stamina. Say we. Well, I guess I should still roll because I could get additional movement. Okay. Yeah. That... That'll do it. 
All right, so then I tip the evidence token. And now that I've collected that, this is where we find out what my final objective is. Exactly, yep. So a couple things happen. You will first draw an evidence card like you normally do. So every time you pick up a token, you get one of those. Okay. Improvisation, truck only requires the battery and one other part for it to automatically start. Permanently set one investigator's battery to zero. You may not use another upgrade. Okay. Is this is this so is this happening like immediately right now that I permanently set this to zero? Uh nope. So those are all anyone that has that like arrow by it is an upgrade for the escape route. So you can't actually use that right now where you're about to be able to. But anything with that up arrow with the icon mm -hmm. and also like the uh the lucky breaker over here, I'll pull over yeah. here. Uh so like that one's the an upgrade for the fuse route and then the Improvisation is upgrade for the truck route. Gotcha. So those only come into effect in the second stage, which uh, is what we just hit. Okay. So what happens now is you drew that. You will also still get an item, so you can pick any item space. And I think you might only have like these left down at the bottom here. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, we'll go with this one. Ooh, on right. second okay. thought, on second thought, let's do this one the altar okay the one close to the explody one right yep yep i believe that's candles. the symbol that has like <laughs> yeah, it's it's candles yeah it's like a it's like an altar basically but it does from from up back it almost looks oh. like a firework going off <laughs> yep <laughs> it does look like a firework to me yeah <laughs> okay hey there are firecrackers in the game <laughs> All right, yeah, that All placement right. makes sense. So now we unlock the second stage. And so what happens is we will shuffle these. Let me draw one of each of these three. So there's a fuse route, there's a truck route, and then there's a kill the adversary route. And so let's flip over this card. So for this one, it's the north gate. So we'll place the fuse box on space 308, which is right down here in this little little building here. And then the fuse token will spawn based on where you roll. It'll spawn somewhere in this general vicinity up at the top of the map. And then you have to take the fuse down to the fuse box and install it. And then there's kind of like a delayed release. And so the gate will open three rounds after the fuse is installed. So you have to survive until that opens. And then you can run out and you escape. So that's kind of how the fuse route works. The truck is the garage truck. So that'll be this one up here. And so the parts will spawn somewhere kind of on the opposite side of the map, depending on what you roll. And you have to bring the parts to the truck. If you install one part, you get to roll a D6 to try to escape. If you roll a six, you escape. If you roll anything else, you don't escape and you can try again next round. If you install two parts, you get out on a four or more. And if you install all three, you automatically escape. So you can kind of try to push your luck there if you only want to get like one part to do it more quickly but you're not guaranteed to escape if you get all three you're guaranteed to get escape but it'll take you a little longer to get that over to the truck gotcha. uh, and there are play rates for these up here as well to walk you through the steps and, put yourself, but, uh, and then the last one is to kill the adversary uh, how this one works is the adversary will randomly place the weapon with two tokens within eight spaces of any investigator uh, they could put one token like eight spaces away from Chi here, and then another token eight spaces away from Vincent. Uh, so they don't have to be next to the same person. And then you have to grab the weapon and then find the adversary and then kill them with it. So you have to be adjacent to them with the weapon to stab them. And the tool helps you locate the adversary. So you can use that and that forces them to place a face up shadow token. So I'm gonna flip this for a second. Uh, this token means that the adversary is within three of that space. So they will play that on your turn. And that way you'll see kind of where, approximately where they are to help you go find them with the weapon. So those are the three escape routes. Uh, the, the gate and the truck are like, there's defined steps, right? So you know exactly, I got to get this part from here to here, and then I can escape. Whereas the adversary route is a little more nebulous because you define the part and then find the adversary. Uh, it can be the quickest. Uh, if you know where the adversary is, then you can get out that way the quickest, but it also can be hard to, to find them if you don't work together as a team with the with the investigators and use the tool. Right. 
and I'm just deciding which of the three I'm going to go for. Yep, and this is where your upgrade cards come in. So you've got these evidence cards I'm going to pull up here. There's the last one. And so these all modify those escape routes. So for the, the Lucky Breaker, you can place the fuse four spaces away from where it's supposed to spawn, uh, but then it takes four rounds for the gate to open. So you're kind of speeding up the initial uh, opening or like the initial process, but it takes longer to open. Uh, and the leaky battery is exactly the same. You can place the battery four spaces away. Uh, it's kind of a similar car truck route, but then you start gaining wounds if you're carrying the battery because it's leaky. Uh, so hmm. that one again speeds up the process, but at the expense of taking damage. And then improvisation, uh, the only truck only requires the battery in one other part. So instead of installing three to automatically escape, you can install two. Uh, but one as investigator has to permanently drop their flashlight to, to zero. So you Ooh. can choose to use one of these to modify, but you do not have to if you just want to use the normal uh, default route. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's a little spicy, not having a flashlight on somebody. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Just like one second to reread this garage card here. Uh, let's go ahead and use the improvisation. Let's just go ahead and going for it. All try right. that. So go on the truck route. Yep, let's give it a shot. All right. So those are gone, and then we'll get rid of these. Oh, doesn't this one help with the? Oh, okay. See, okay, but even though this one helps with the truck route, you. Correct. Yep. It. Yep. It's, you cannot use two upgrade cards. Okay. You can only ever use one. And then you can go ahead and roll this D6 here, and then we'll figure out where the parts go. All right. I guess we might. Seven, two, uh, six. That's three, seven. So they're not. The truck is there. So that's these corner spaces. And S37 was right here? Yep. So that's where the uh, uh, spark plugs will go there. Repair kit goes over here. Okay. And then whose uh, battery are you setting to zero? I think. Oh. Okay. You I'm have thinking to do that it's going to be right now, not. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Um, you don't have to use it. Oh, I'm going to. <laughs> Risky. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, or Chi. This right. is her battery. Chi's battery is gone. And then uh, two more things happen to help you out on your journey. Uh, the first is you can pick any building and make it dim. So that will not make the adversary reveal that they're there, but it will allow you to move normally through the building. Um, I suppose this one. All right. So we do that. Yeah, that'll get you out of here quickly. Uh, remember, the garage will be pitch black still, though, so it'll take you a little bit of time to get through there. So it's either do you want to get out of here quickly or through the garage once you have the parts quickly. Oh, right, because this is the actual truck I'm supposed to be going after. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's probably about a horse apiece because you're in the middle of this building. So it's probably either way might be pretty similar, but. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's keep it the way I had it. Let's okay. keep this building dim. All right. And then the I'll adversary. Regret it later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the adversary gets to place a major ability token. Uh, in that building. So Heather, you can place this token anywhere in the sawmill you want. 
So this, the way this works is it's the number of adversary players. Secretly or publicly? Uh, publicly. It'll go on the main board. Because I think this is a benefit for me exactly. if I pick it up. Yep. You're just deciding where in the building I have okay. to go to grab it. Um, yeah, I, know I mean, where, I'd put it. where it is is probably <laughs> a pretty good spot. That seems fine to me. Yeah. Yep, it's out of the way. Based on she is right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that is the second stage. And now we are back to normal. Back to your regularly program, scheduled program. Okay. Okay. Um, so this building is, is dim. Means I get some free movement, which is cool. All right, so I need to get down there. Yeah, that, okay, that Gotta. changes some things then. Very obscured and bored. I should probably stop showing it that way. <laughs> Making it look very off kilter. All right, um, <laughs> using chi. Oh, it's the, the Dutch angle. It's perfect. It uh, makes us uneasy. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so this glow stick can can go in timeout. We're all done with that. Um, so she's going to move one, <laughs> two, three. I'm going to grab the spark plug. I'll just put that there. Wait a second. What happened to Chi? Oh, she got stuck with it. OK. She should be right there. So that was one, two, three, four. Whew, do I take do I take another wound? I need three rune or wounds before I can be killed. Is that the idea? Uh, well, no. So the eviscerate attack does two damage over time, and so if you have two wounds, uh, that if she hits you once, you will die two rounds from then. Okay. So you want to avoid getting two wounds, ideally. I see. Okay, so then maybe it's better for me to recoup a bit. All right, so I'm not going to sprint with Chi. And then with Vincent. Actually, what is Chi's major ability again? Chi's, if the adversary is on. OK, yeah, that's fine. I'll keep that for a bit. Uh, so for Vincent, <laughs> Vincent's going to go one, two, three, four. And I think. And there's no limit to like one character, like taking certain amounts of items, right? Like, oh, yeah. There's no carry limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. There's a wound that affects it, but generally speaking, no, there's no limit. Gotcha. All right, so cheese moved, or sorry, uh, Vincent's moved four spaces. Do I want to sprint? I think if I do sprint, I should probably, ooh, that's, that's, you know what though, let's try it. Uh, so I was here, I'm, instead I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, stop here, and then I'm gonna sprint out the left side of the building. Oh, but then, ooh, but then I'll begin. Yeah, you're gonna take a wound. Hmm. I hate it. I hate all of it. Um, let me let me do some dummy flashlight <laughs> positioning here. Oh, that's not going to help me at all. Hmm. There's no way I don't get smacked in the face. Okay, um, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to use my flashlight and angle it the way I have it now. And I believe... Oh yeah, no, let's not even entertain that idea right now. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Okay. Let me make sure I'm looking 
looking and understanding where the items you need are too. So they're way you've over. Got the one of the. Oh, so I'm uh, looking you at the. Got, you picked up something you needed though that was right here. Uh, yep, you got the spark plugs right there. Yep. Yes, that was the spark plugs. So if you were to go install and so then just there's those... two more things left right here. Um, also, I just got the messages. I was uh, trying to be as allergic to the live stream uh, chat as possible to avoid spoilers on Heather's end. But um, I mean, I it is pretty late, I must say, on my end. It's almost about 1230 in the morning. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I guess yep. ballpark, like how how... How long would you expect the game to last at this point? My guess is like another 30 minutes minimum based on the pace we've been going. Yeah, I'd say probably mm -hmm. 30 to 60 minutes. To, well, it depends on if you get killed first, I guess. But I'd say sure. probably minimum 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're happy to, we're happy to mm -hmm. pause here and then we can finish it up at a later date. Is that is that acceptable for everyone else? That would be that would be great for me. Um, I'm I'm having a good time, but I, I do think I would prefer mm -hmm. to have uh, not not 1 a.m. brain be able to do this yes that would be great <laughs> yep absolutely oh yeah well and uh i like the idea of like letting you finish because you're you know you've been working hard on this whole plan <laughs> we both have <laughs> been working hard on our plans so rather For not sure. just go like and then something happens and one of you wins who knows you know what i mean and i guess since there's well, only the, the... two of us it shouldn't be too hard for us to another time when we could finish it right Absolutely. And we can also get the cliffhanger, right? So people are going to yeah, be what, excited what to jump in at the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two video series this time. Um, we figured out to, I think the next session probably should be a much faster session than this one figured out. Yes. Um, the settings that we need on teeth that our stream isn't shorting out. So. Yeah, so thank yeah, you guys no for yeah, we'll joining through. us tonight. And um, I'm let me let me turn off and see everybody to say goodbye. Okay, give me. All right. Yes, thanks for uh, tag teaming the teach. Yes, <laughs> you all have kind of so I have no idea which of you is teaching me <laughs> anyone particular. <laughs> um, but yes, thanks for joining us. And uh, I'm, we don't need to decide right now when it will be, but um, probably sometime after the Kickstarter is over is the next time that we'll talk about it. It might be a, a couple weeks. We're not going to rush it. Does that sound good? Yeah, perfect. totally fine. All right. Well, thanks, awesome. everybody. Yeah. And Tanner, get some sleep. Nightmares about <laughs> me stalking you, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Any That's more than normal. usual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, right. everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>